everyone. Welcome back to another spine chilling tale right here on our channel. Today's story is a real shocker, and trust me, you're gonna wanna hear this one. So grab your favorite blanket, turn off the lights, and let's dive into the creepy world of the hotel staff from hell. Smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy it. Let's dive in. Our story takes place in a small town called Millbrook, where things are usually quiet, emphasis on usually. There's this old hotel, the Whispering Pines Inn, standing tall on the outskirts. It looks harmless during the day, but when the moon takes over, things get real creepy real fast. Now, meet Jake and Emma, a young couple who decided to take a spontaneous road trip. They ended up in Millbrook and checked into the Whispering Pines Inn. It seemed innocent enough, with its antique charm and a front desk that creaked with every move. The trouble started when they met the hotel staff, particularly, a guy named Maxwell. Maxwell had this unsettling grin that sent shivers down your spine. He was the night clerk, and he had a way of making you question whether you should have checked in at all. As Jake and Emma settled into their room, strange things began happening. You know, the classic flickering lights and weird noises, your typical horror movie setup. But this wasn't a movie, it was their night at the Whispering Pines Inn. The first eerie encounter happened in the hallway. Jake was heading to the ice machine when he heard hushed whispers. He followed the sound, thinking it might be another guest, but the whispers led him to a locked door labeled staff only. Maxwell's voice was unmistakable, and he was talking about things that sent chills down Jake's spine. The next creepy episode unfolded in the hotel's dimly lit restaurant. Emma decided to grab a late night snack, and as she walked in, she saw Maxwell standing by the bar. But here's the thing, there was no one else in the room, and Maxwell was having a full-on conversation with an invisible companion. It was like something out of a ghost story. As if that wasn't enough, the couple started noticing strange symbols etched on the walls of the room. They looked like something out of a dark ritual, and they couldn't shake off the feeling that Maxwell was involved in something beyond their understanding. Things took a darker turn when Jake overheard Maxwell talking about the hotel's history. It turned out the Whispering Pines and had a notorious past, involving mysterious disappearances and unexplained deaths. Maxwell spoke about the spirits lingering in the halls, and Jake couldn't help but feel a presence watching them. One night, as they lay in bed, the room filled with another worldly chill. Shadows danced on the walls, and the air felt heavy with an unseen force. Emma, unable to take it anymore, suggested they leave, but the moment they opened the door, they found Maxwell standing in the hallway, his eyes reflecting the pale light. Maxwell's grin widened, and he uttered words that made their blood run cold, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. It was like a nightmare come to life, and they were trapped in a hotel with a sinister secret. The couple decided to confront Maxwell, but when they reached the front desk, he was gone. The hotel seemed to shift, hallways leading to nowhere, and the once familiar surroundings became a maze of dread. As they ventured deeper into the hotel's mysteries, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber. It was a room filled with old photographs, each capturing moments of horror and despair. Maxwell's face appeared in every picture, a constant figure in the hotel's dark history. The couple realized they were part of a twisted game orchestrated by Maxwell and the spirits that haunted the Whispering Pines Inn. The hotel was a gateway between the living and the dead, and Jake and Emma were caught in the middle. In a desperate attempt to escape, they navigated the labyrinthine corridors, pursued by unseen forces. Maxwell's laughter echoed, mocking their every move. The hotel seemed to feed off their fear, distorting reality and playing tricks on their minds. Just when they thought all hope was lost, they stumbled upon an old service exit. The door creaked open, and they burst into the cool night air, gasping for breath. The whispering pines in stood behind them, silent and foreboding. As they left Millbrook, the town's eerie stillness lingered in the rearview mirror. The couple couldn't erase the memories of the creepy hotel staff and the haunted whispers that followed them. The Whispering Pines Inn, with its dark secrets, continued to cast a long shadow over their lives. And there you have it, 
folks, a tale of a hotel with a night clerk straight from your worst nightmares. If you enjoyed this phone chilling story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more spooky content, and share your own creepy experiences in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe and sleep tight, you never know what might be lurking in the shadows.